Before I can talk to you about clothing or style, I have to first talk to you about confidence. The truth of the matter is, I can put the most expensive and beautiful clothing on you, but if you don't own it with confidence, it won't work. So what is confidence? The way I understand it is being comfortable in your own skin and knowing your worth. It is walking around with your head held high and taking up the space that you deserve. It is knowing exactly who you are, your strain, your flaws, and loving yourself for all of it. It is expressing yourself unapologetically. It is accepting the way you look and your body for what it is. It is not comparing yourself to others nor accepting the way the society wants you to look. Confidence takes a lot of work to achieve in our hypervisual and critical world. There are days when we don't feel as confident as we want to be, and that's okay. But we need to strive to get back to it because confidence is not only mandatory for style, it is essential for a healthy and happy life. So, how do we gain confidence? First, we need to practice healthy self-talk. We need to block out the noise, the negative comments, the social media comparisons, the societal pressure, and just listen to ourselves. We tell ourselves that we are imperfect, but we strive to be better. We tell ourselves that we are born with gifts, wisdom, and purpose. We tell ourselves that we know exactly who we are and that no one can tell us otherwise. Second, we need to work on our inner beauty. Whether it's getting more education through books and documentaries, or improving a skill, or developing a hobby, or learn about another culture through travel. There are so many ways for us to enrich ourselves and to become more well-rounded people. Once we develop more substance within, I believe we're more confident about what we can contribute to this world and how to connect with others well. Next, we all come in different shapes and sizes and that's beautiful, but we have to take care of the body that we're given. By that, I mean exercising, healthy diet, adequate rest, cutting out bad habits, etc. And also take care of your personal hygiene whether it's your skin, your hair, your nails, and also go to the doctors regularly, whether it's a dentist or dermatologist. Your body is like a blank canvas that fashion paints on. If the canvas is not ready, there is no painting. I think you'll feel more confident about your style once you have a healthy body to work with. Lastly, we need to surround ourselves with confident, positive, and supportive people. Those who are confident and have it together can really motivate us to do the same. Those who know us and truly love us can really help us boost our ego. Avoid people who like to compare themselves to others, who drain our energy, who are always very critical, and those who don't see our worth. With a healthy mind, open heart, strong body, and a loving community around you, you are now ready to embark on a fashion journey with me. I consider myself more of a fashion therapist than stylist because style is about way more than just clothing. So stay tuned for more fashion therapy sessions. Share your thoughts on this topic in the comment section and subscribe to my channel for more.